So guys, this morning's mini adventure is to Kedleston Hall in Derbyshire. This is a magnificent Palladian mansion. It was built in 1759 by Nathaniel Curzon. Um, at the time, he actually had the whole medieval village of Kedleston demolished so that he could build his new mansion. Uh, the only thing that remains from the medieval village is the 12th century church, the All Saints Church, which is at the back of the house. So yeah, come along with us and enjoy the adventure. Good morning guys and, and welcome to Kettleston Hall in Derbyshire. So we're going to take you on a tour of this magnificent Palladian house. Uh, we're probably not going to say too much during the video because I think this place will speak for itself. It was designed by and built by Robert Adam in the 1700s. He also designed a lot of the follies and buildings in the grounds. So yeah, come along and enjoy the tour. About it, yeah, I've been reading on. So guys, this is the actual basement. This is the way you enter the house if you're doing the house tour. And then you go up to the uh, ground floor, which is the, the main entrance hall. And you continue around until you eventually exit the way you entered. So yeah, we're just on our way back out. So this is the music room at Kedleston. In the background you can see a harpsichord. Uh, the very helpful uh, lady guide here has just been telling us about it. But what an absolutely amazing place. Uh, the fact we've come earlier in the morning, it's uh, fairly quiet, so it's nice to have a look around. Morning. 
So this is the marble hall that was designed by Robert Adam. It's got 20 marble alabaster columns and the floor is made from Italian marble. It's got lots of naked men statues as well. It really has. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is absolutely magnificent. So we're just down in the basement part of the house and we're going through into the museum which has lots of artefacts from when uh, one of the Lord Curzons spent many years in India. Yeah, so Lord Curzon was actually Viceroy of India and most of this collection was uh, gathered during his time there and apparently was an avid collector anyway, so yeah, there's some magnificent things to look at in this museum. So we're just outside All Saints Church. This is literally right at the back of Kedleston Hall. Here's Ant. Uh, this is the only remaining part of Kedleston village, which was a medieval village. I think I mentioned at the start that uh, Lord Curzon, when he had this house built, demolished the medieval village of Kedleston. So yeah, this is the only remnants of it. So at the rear of Kettleston, in the best traditions of the National Trust Houses, there's a little garden centre, but you actually get access to the rear of the house from here. And I think this is probably my favourite elevation. It's got the most amazing curved stone staircase up to the back and this great view. Uh, the National Trust have actually got deck chairs out on here so you can have a sit down in the sunshine if it's nice. I'm going to just walk across and turn around you'll get this stunning view of the house. So yeah, 
Kedleston Hall in Derbyshire. Just look at that. It's got to be some of the finest uh, Palladian architecture in the UK. So we're just outside in the grounds now and it looks as if they're trying to restore the gardens. Uh, I mean the last time we came here, which was about a year ago, there wasn't really any gardens to speak of, it was mostly just uh, mown grass. But it certainly looks as if they're in the process of creating some flower beds, which would be lovely because I'm sure there would have been flower beds here in its heyday. So this is the stable yard and uh, coach house. This was actually closed the last time we came. We didn't see this. Uh, yeah, really large stable block. There's actually a uh, little kiosk outside here where you can get coffee or uh, a snack. Uh, we might even partake ourselves. taking a walk across the park now. Uh, we've actually been to the park quite a few times for a stroll around. Yeah. We've made some really nice memories actually wandering around this place. Just, we're just currently dodging sheep poo though. <laughs> there's a lot of sheep around here. Yeah there's plenty of sheep poo. So uh, yeah we're going to take a stroll across the grounds now, have a look at some of the follies and bridges and uh, yeah, no doubt we'll include some photos. So we hope you've enjoyed our look round Kettleston Hall. Um, really enjoyed it, haven't we? It's been nice. Yeah, we timed it right as well. We got there for when the doors opened at 11 o'clock. We the first ones in, actually. First in, and it's rammed again now already. So we have, we've had a nice so walk a nice around house park, to look round. It's quite uh, palatial. The marble hallway is stunning. Yeah, that was designed, I think we said, by Robert Adam. So local sort of interest there as well. So yeah, if you've liked this video, please uh, like it. And if you want to subscribe, that would be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.